speeding up and slowing down for the last few miles. Right now I have it set at 63, but twice it's told me that the speed limit is 45 and it's restricting me to 50 and it's sped back up again. But I haven't seen any speed limit signs, so I don't even know what the speed limit is. We'll see if it does it again. Well, now it probably won't do it. But I think it's just because it doesn't know what the speed limit is. And this feature that we're... Oh, there. Now it says speed limit 55. I guess... I don't know if it read that or what. I don't know if it was 45 or that. But I, I don't... I wouldn't count on that speed limit stuff being accurate at all. You really still need to look out for the speed limit yourself. And now the system just made another change. I had it at 63, something like that, I think it was. Now it brought me down to 60, because it recognized again that I'm in a 55, but it recognized it before, but only this time that it dropped me down to 60. A lot of times it won't let you go more than five miles an hour over the, the limit, especially if you're on a secondary road. But it's really inconsistent also on this part of it too. Consistent again, like it's a 45, it hasn't dropped me down. Now it's dropping me down. We went through a couple miles of that. Now it's a 35. Is it going to drop me down on time? Let me see. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Right on time. That was perfect. But I would not count on that happening. You're probably going to get a ticket. Uh, hopefully I didn't get a ticket in that 45 zone because they didn't drop, it did not drop me down anywhere near fast enough. But at least it has some ability to work. But I wouldn't, just don't count on it.